All right, welcome to today's training video. This video is part one of a three series on how to buy and sell Capricorn on the Bitrix Public Exchange. And this first video is the really the first step on how to set up a Coinbase account. I'm Nicole Peterson. I'm one of the founding members of Visionary. And I've got Andy Morbitzer, uh, my business partner here with me, who is a co-owner of Visionary beside me. And we're going to be opening up our own Coinbase account. From what I've learned is that when you go to Bitrix.com and buy and sell Capricoin on the Bitrix exchange, you need to have Bitcoin in order to do that. So one of the ways to purchase Bitcoin is to open up a Coinbase account, which is what we're actually going to walk you through opening our Coinbase account today. So we want to go to coinbase.com. And just so that you know as well, uh, this is definitely open to residents of the United States. And it is open to some residents internationally as well. But it may not be in the country that you are currently in. Uh, for example, I believe that uh, South Africa and Mexico, um, it's not open to. If you do happen to be in a country where you cannot open up a Coinbase account, get in touch with one of the management team at Visionary and we'll be more than happy to redirect you to a platform that is open in your country. Okay. So now that we're here, we just want to click sign up and we're going to open up this account in Andy's name. And just enter our name, email, and choose the password. Agree to the privacy and policy agreement. Create account. Now we have to verify our email. So we've got to, the next thing you want to do is open up your email account and verify that. And we're going to do that now. And you'll see an email from Coinbase. Please verify your email address. And click the blue link in the email. And we are redirected to the Coinbase account with our email verified. And next step. We want to verify our phone number. So put in your country and put in your phone number. Click next and Coinbase is going to send us a, well, they just sent a text message to our phone number. So we've got to verify that with a seven digit verification code. And they've always got this button where you can send it by text message or by phone call. It's completely your choice. So we're just waiting for the verification code. Okay. And we got, one, one, two, two, zero, three, five. Verify phone number. And now we want to choose a payment for how we're going to pay for our Bitcoin. So I'm going to put in our uh, business bank account. And click next. And at this point, you can actually go straight ahead and purchase Bitcoin. We're going to skip this step for now because uh, I want to show you some aspects of the back office of Coinbase. So the next time you log in for the first time, it will typically take you to this page of Coinbase. Here there are tabs to buy and sell Bitcoin, and you can also send and request Bitcoin to your, this is kind of like a Bitcoin wallet, and you could, I guess you could say. So we've verified our email, our phone number, and our payment information. Let's go to settings. You can upload your picture here. This is where you can change your password, uh, your name, your email, and 
here is where you can actually put in a kind of like a username so that if you refer somebody to Coinbase uh, with this address, coinbase.com forward slash your username, they will actually receive $10 in free Bitcoin when they purchase and so will you. So Coinbase is actually giving away $20 worth of free Bitcoin. And personal details, this is where you're going to want to enter your date of birth and your address and save the details here. And you're going to want to do this probably to increase your limits as well. If we go to the buy sell Bitcoin button, you can see here we can actually, let's say we can enter in amount, an amount of Bitcoin, $1,000. You can see at the current rate that Bitcoin is today at $378 per coin, 1,000 USD would get us 2.61 Bitcoins. And of course, this is Coinbase's fee. It's all very transparent and it comes from within that $1,000. When you, and you can actually set, if you want, you can actually set up repeat transactions. So if you wanted to buy Bitcoin by the hour, by the day, by the week, every month, uh, you can set it up to automatically do this. When you click this blue buy Bitcoin button, you are confirming your transaction and it's locked in at this amount. Now, because we've entered in our bank account details, it actually requests a wire transfer from the bank and it can take up to three to five days until you receive your Bitcoin into this Coinbase wallet. For international purchases, it can take a little longer. I've heard of up to seven days. So you do need some time for this. But as soon as you click this blue button, you are purchasing your Bitcoin. You're locked in essentially. So if Bitcoin were to go up tomorrow, you don't have to worry. You've, per you've agreed to purchase your Bitcoin at 378 USD. Okay. Here is where you can verify your identity and raise your limits if you want to. And so well, here we'd have to still enter in our details, but I do know that it asks for either a passport or a driver's license, and they actually verify it within a minute or two. It's really quick. Let's go back to settings. If we click on preferences, here you can set up notifications for emails, what kind of notifications you want to receive. Um, and just go through this and security. You can set up whether you even want to receive the two-step verification, which I recommend. This is also where if you wanted to close your account, you can, you can close your account. Just be very careful as it cannot be undone. This is where you have your payment information, so you can actually add some payment options if you want. I know within the US there's instant Bitcoin uh, purchasing with a credit card, I believe. Um, it's only available to US residents. Let's see, and then if we go to, let's say we go to the advanced section. You can see here you can actually add Bitcoin addresses so you can track transactions. This tab will show recurring, recurring transactions. This will show all your reports and of course you also have a history of all your transactions that you have done. You'll be able to every time you log in you'll see how much Bitcoin you have in your wallet. Um, in your vault and your USD wallet if you were to fund this account. You can do this with international as well. Let's say you didn't want to wait three to five to seven days to purchase your Bitcoin from a wire transfer from your bank. You can actually fund this Coinbase account. They will send, it'll be by wire transfer as well. So let's say you want to send 5,000, have $5,000 sitting on your Coinbase account. So for when maybe the next time Bitcoin drops, 
you can purchase it right away and you don't want to wait the three to five days for that. You can actually fund your account this way. So there's a plenty of options here, but that's basically the basics of opening up a Coinbase account. So in the next video, uh, we're going to have some fun. And this is when we're going to bring in Gary Connor, who is the editor and publisher of Altcoin Today. He's an expert within the industry, and he's going to show us how to actually purchase and sell Capricorn on the Bitrix Exchange. So we will see you in the next video.